Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. And in this video today, guys, we're going to review the Through Night T20. I'm going to unbox this here, show you. There's the case. And before we get the light out, I just want to go over the tech specs real quick because I've done this with all the other lights. So let's begin with right here. The light has a 20 year lifespan and uh, it uses a CR123 battery instead of a AA. And just so happens, because all my tactical gear I have laying around, I have a Plenty of those in supply. The maximum output on this is 255 lumen. And right here it has a removable clip and a twisting head design with a tail switch, so that's good to know as well. Um, now to turn on and off, right there's the instructions on that. Instead of reading through all this, I'm just going to kind of hold that right there for a moment so you guys can see. Um, obviously, and then the change of modes right here is the methods in which you can change the modes. Let that hold for just a second so you can see that as well. And that way you can see all of them instead of me just explaining a few like I have with others. Now, with that said, let's get the light out and take a look at it. Now, if you'll notice in the T10 design, it came with the uh, reflector right there so that you could use that like if you needed the signal. And also right here, it came with the Allen wrench where you can put the clip on. So right here, as you can see, the clip is already on it. And right here is the push button design, it's the front of the light. Now to use this particular light, all we need to do is put in our CR123 battery, brand new. That way we can see the absolute best output of this light. Now at this point, insert our battery. And as you can see right here, it has O-ring, the watertight seal. And there you go. Wide out. Now, real quickly though, um, I just want to say that this light right here, you can see the body on it. It's very good where you can get a good grip around it. But it's compact. So you can like throw it in your pocket real easy. And for people that don't want to take up a lot of space, especially on your gear if you're using it for tactical gear, um, the thing can fit on there very well. Uh, furthermore, if you do the uh, grip mount onto a helmet, uh, that can mount up on a helmet really nice right there too, and it's just so compact, so it's quick flick right there with the button. But uh, a thing that I wanted to compare uh, that I thought would be really neat is that uh, I'm not really going to cover in on the reflector part there um, at the beginning, but what I want to go to first is the T10 in comparison to it, um, the size and the functions put a brand new battery in the T10 and I've reviewed this before if you want to see the link right there and you can see this very bright as well but right there you see the body size is almost identical this one the T20 is just a little bit bigger um, as far as the height wise there's the height if you're a fan of the C123 batteries then the T20 would be a good friend to you and uh, I like the clip on it too uh, it's very, very firm. Now, I do loss prevention, um, and I use my T10. This is the one I carry all the time. And I actually don't use the clip on it. I just slide it down in my pocket, um, and that way when I reach my hand down the pocket constantly to get a key set or something, I'm not flicking it off there. I just I just went without it. But now this right here, um, like I said, the clip, you can uh, use the clip feature, or you can take that off as well if you're not a fan of, of clips on things. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to get the reflector head out of my uh, gear bag because I don't use that at work either. And we're going to take and test these same function modes and see the output on the lighting. And then we're going to test the reflector and you can see that as well. Okay guys, so now we're out here in the pitch black. So for review, I'm just going to show there is, and there's the medium and then the highest. Alright, now I'm going to turn it off. Now here... Okay, now here is the Firefly with the T20. There's the low. And then the high. Alright. Now, in relation to out to distance, alright. Now what I'm going to do is the same area that I used for the T10 test. I'm going to do for long distance here. There we go. You can see that chicken out there. So there is the kind of low setting. There's the highest, all right? So we can see out to that tree pretty good, and that's out to that mailbox. All right, now, I'm going to do that with the T20. 
right there is the lower setting and there's the highest and as you can see the T20 goes way out there and I can see way on out past that uh, there goes a vehicle for reference so you can see right there now yeah, pretty pretty good light output for a very very small compact device now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the uh, reflector lenses on the lights and I'm gonna put them out at a distance of about a hundred uh, I'd say about a hundred yards out and I'm gonna turn them on and let you see the light output of both of them okay now there is both the T10 and the T20 out at a distance and as you can see the brightness output on both of them and very impressive um, they're they're almost equal in output and the signaling capability of that I mean is just very very good because I mean right there kind of puts in perspective how far out that is zoom 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 still finally there it reminds me of a flare burning right now just you know no sizzle or nothing um, as far as uh, the lifespan on the batteries, that's something I'll get into here in just a minute when we get back inside. But there's always a toss-up, you know, when you got C123 and AA. Um, to me, both batteries last a really long time. Um, and the reason I say that is because I use C123 in my tactical light systems. And then um, since I started using through night, uh, I've used AA and stuff like that. So... And a lot of other lights I've had in the past used AA. So I've had a mix up of them both. And uh, both of them will give you a long lifespan for your tactical equipment. So guys, in closing, um, I would say the T20 is a very, very compact, efficient light. Um, for those that are a C123 battery type fan. Um, especially for the fact that a lot of tactical gear is running C123 batteries nowadays. Um, the T20 is a really good option for you if you're wanting to run that with your tactical gear. Uh, the option as far as uh, a person that's wanting the same features and versatility of the T10 and still have uh, that type of battery, you've got it in the T20. The, uh, the cone lighting on that for signaling, both of them is almost equal. I would say in my personal opinion, the T20 is just a tad bit brighter, um, but both of them definitely get the job done. And in my honest opinion, I think the T20 is a very good value, um, especially for those of us that are preppers. And uh, size does matter in your bug out bag. Both of those are very tiny and compact and get the job done out there. So until we see you again here at 7 Trumpets Prepper Channel, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.